everyone, Julian here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the biggest problem that music producers face in this era. You know, there's a lot of information out there, and today I'm going to be cutting all the BS and just getting right down to it and telling you what you need to know to make the best tracks of your life. Before I get started, definitely hit my website at the top of the description, electronicsamples.com, for the best sounds in all music production. I put a ton of time into this website and into these sounds and studying how to make the best sounds so you guys can make the best tracks of your life. Also, check out my lessons and track finishing and ghost production link for that is at the top of the description as well it really helps support me and it's a great way to take your tracks to the next level and really learn something great link for both of those at the top of the description let's dive in so to start off what is the biggest problem the music producers face in this era and to me it is not understanding you need to work with sounds that are solid right out of the gate what do i mean by this a lot of times we've been sold on the idea that samples should be over processed and that you need to like start processing your kick right away for example and all this different stuff and the truth is what I've learned through 10 plus years of hard work in this game that I put in you know you really just need to set, find sounds that groove together and are solid right away if you're ever listening to a sample pack like let's say you're going through and you hear a kick and you're like oh I kind of like the click in this kick but you know I need to beef up the low end or something like that if you ever hear something like that in a sample particularly like really foundational samples like your main kick your main hi-hat your main snare that kind of stuff chances are it's just a bad sound and you should just delete it right away probably delete the whole sample back because they really weren't approaching it from the right perspective you know i've spent years doing that myself you know before i figured this out i put a lot of time into learning all these like kick compression chains and saturation and you guys have seen me oversaturate sounds on this channel even and what i learned through all those mistakes is that really, the, again, the best sounds just sound good right there. Like, if it's not good right away, and then maybe, you know, it could need, like, 10% of work or something like that, or maybe it could need a little bit of something to fit with something else in your track, like, say, some EQ to cut out some mud or cut out where, you know, another sound is hitting. That's cool. But if you're hearing a sound and saying, I need to go and take this and, like, really fundamentally change it, Again, just delete the whole sample pack. I'm telling you, this is one of the biggest issues. There's a million YouTube tutorials showing you how to overprocess your sounds and how to mess them up and how to work with sounds that aren't good. And you're really just wasting your time if you do that. Because from what I've learned, the best producers, I've seen their project files, I've asked them, I've talked to them about it, and they do process sounds and they do little tiny things. But again, it's always that little like 10%. It's never like it's never just taking something and fundamentally changing it to really make it work anytime you find yourself doing that you're probably just working with sounds that aren't that good to begin with and again kind of wasting your time i really think this is important to keep in mind because again a lot of people will sell you on this there's a million plugins out there that are designed to take sounds and mess with them and you know push them and the truth is it's kind of just like a lot of capitalism right like it's a lot of people trying to sell you stuff because they don't really have something great to sell you or maybe they just want to sell you snake oil so they can make a quick buck and i'm telling you man it's really not about that i think if you hear a kick once again in a sample pack particularly kicks hi-hats like the main sounds and you think you need to process it to make it work just delete the whole pack or at least delete that sound because the truth is like the best sounds are going to just work together and really the truth is is that the, there's no such thing as like the best sounds right because really the best sounds what i really learned from doing a lot of dance music in particular is the best sounds are really just the ones that groove the best together right like you know there's no standard necessarily of like how hard your kick needs to be or how hard like your clap needs to hit or something like that it's just like does it hit right in the in reference to the rest of your groove and that's a very specific thing too like you got to keep this in mind you know it's the pattern that your sound is programmed into it's the bpm you're working with like literally the difference between 126 and 127 bpm a lot of times can mean a whole different kick works great and you really got to keep this stuff in mind like it's really more like throwing paint at the canvas and trying sounds that you know are high quality already and seeing if they work in your group. It's not about just like kind of finding one sample pack and just going, oh, okay, well, I can take the kick and over compress it and do all this kind of stuff because it's really going to mess you up. And this is why I put so much time into studying just how to like get sounds that are good 
where they come from, where the pros are getting them from, and ultimately understanding what makes them really good and understanding the tracks you're trying to make too. Like if you're trying to make minimal house, it's going to be a different thing that you're looking for than if you're making techno, right? So you really got to understand that style of music. And that just comes from analyzing a lot of tracks, analyzing your own tracks that you made that weren't really so good. You know, you do have to have a lot of trial and error to make the best stuff. It's just kind of the way it works in every art form. You know, I've heard fashion people talk about this. I've heard graphic designers talk about this. I'm I mean, I'm telling you, you just kind of have to do trial and error to learn this stuff. But you will quickly learn if you do this and you really start to analyze tracks and really analyze your own tracks and don't just do the same thing over and over too, you know? I think a lot of people tend to kind of do the same thing over and over and then wonder why it's not working. It's like, yeah, if you've been doing this for five years, like I honestly did at one point in time, just sitting there and thinking, well, the way a kick works is you get this tiny little kick and then you put a bunch of drum bus on it or something, and then it gets bigger, and that's not really working for you, and your tracks aren't getting signed, or you're not getting wherever you want to be, dude, just do something different. Like, you got to have a little bit of neuroplasticity, right? You got to be willing to change up your process if it's not working. It's as simple as that, because you will find this. Eventually, you will get to this point. Like, I see myself as somebody who just did it wrong a lot until I kind of realized what was right. And I think we all need to be willing to do this. You know, you're not going to know right away, but if you're willing to not waste a lot of time, analyze a lot of tracks, analyze what makes tracks work and what makes these sounds work, you'll start to be able to hear it and you'll realize when sounds aren't good and when you're going to have to overprocess them. So you really want to keep this in mind. Because, like, again, we live in this very sort of, like, I hate to keep using this word, but like capitalist environment where a lot of people are trying to sell you plugins, they're trying to sell you sample packs that aren't really good, they don't really know what they're doing, and they haven't analyzed all these tracks. It's like, they'll just go, oh, I'm going to make a techno sample pack. Okay, well, uh, the techno, you use a 909 kick, and they'll put these like tiny kicks in there, and th it's like, dude, you got to actually study the tracks that you're trying to make right or that you're trying to emulate with these sample packs so this is why i put so much time into this on electroniksamples.com and why i really tried to like emphasize this on my channel is like you guys see it like in these videos you know usually the drums don't have that much processing unless it's for sound design and that's like another point i want to make too you know obviously one thing that kind of trumps all this is if you're just trying to take something and just push it into another place with effects and processing and maybe warping and all that kind of stuff yeah that's still very relevant although you might find typically that's kind of more like the background sounds like if we're talking drums you know yeah like your kick your main hi-hat your main clap usually you want those to be really solid right out the gate but then you could make a really cool background percussion loop by like you know just putting a bunch of distortion and filtering and stuff i've done that before i literally did this yesterday in a video on here right but Ultimately, with the main sounds, it really shouldn't be too much work to get it right. And I think what's happened is, you know, we live in a very accessible era. We live in an era where there's been a lot of people that have been able to make their own sample packs and been able to make companies out of this. And they've kind of sold you on a lot of crap, you know? I'm telling you guys, like, I've really put a lot of time in and I've studied this stuff. And you really, you want to get sounds from people that are actually trying to, like, help the community and give the community what it needs rather than just like oh yeah well these guys obviously they're trying to sell us something you know and that's really what i'm on now obviously yes this is a business i would like to make a little bit of money for the time i put in but the truth here is i really just want to give back to this community man i spent years on reddit i spent years diving through youtube and learning all these mistakes and I've come through it all to show you guys what's important and what the really good sounds are that are going to help you. So yeah, that's pretty much what I want to talk about in this video, guys. I just want to let you know that I think the biggest problem is just that people think they're going to have to work with these sounds and really change them and do all this stuff. And it's like if you understand how to put together a groove and you understand the genre you're trying to make, you'll realize pretty quickly which sounds you should just delete and which sounds are going to work for you. So yeah, thanks so much for the support, everybody. Definitely hop on over to electroniksamples.com to get the best sounds. All these lessons I've talked about today have been extremely formative in the samples you get on this website. And in my opinion, they're some of the best on the market. I'm really trying to give back to the community here and give you guys really high quality sounds for affordable, accessible prices. You know, not only are these the best sounds that you can get and really make great tracks with that the pros are using, 
But also everything's like five or ten dollars, you know? It's not just about selling something to you guys. It's about giving you guys something that you can really make the next level of music with and get access to and not, you know, buy a fifty dollar sample pack and then realize all the kicks are total garbage. Like that doesn't help anybody. It doesn't even help the person that's selling it to you, really, because it's gonna, you know, it's a very short-term relationship. So yeah, guys, electronicsamples.com to get the best sounds in the market. Once again, the link for my lessons and track finishing and ghost production, those are all at the top of the description as well. Definitely check that out. It's a really great way to take your tracks to the next level, as are the samples. Thank you so much for the support, everybody. Enjoy. I'd love to know what you think of this in the comments. I'm gonna do more commentary videos like this coming up for sure. Thanks for the support, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video.